everyone! I'm here today at Cannon Beach, one of our most popular snorkeling beaches inside the park. Cannon Beach is home to many artifacts from Florida's past. Archaeologists use these items to reveal what life was like for people who lived and traveled through Florida's waters hundreds of years ago. Today, we're going to learn a little bit about the cannons found at Cannon Beach, as well as some of the other cannons found around the park, and learn a little bit about their stories. The cannons on the beach are from the HMS Winchester. After leaving Port Royal, Jamaica with 300 men, sickness plagued the British ship and many of them died. The remaining men, greatly weakened themselves, were unable to control the ship and it ran aground at Cary's Fort Reef in 1695. The HMS Dunkirk rescued the remaining 110 men and returned to England. Treasure hunters found the wreck in the 1940s and recovered all of its 60 cannons and many artifacts. Today, cannons from the Winchester can be found throughout South Florida, resting away on land. The park has worked to preserve these cannons so visitors can enjoy viewing them. The cannons, anchor, and ballast stones placed underwater in the swim area just off Cannon Beach tell the story of the perils of life at sea during the time of exploration and colonization, when Florida was under Spanish control. The cannons are from the 1715 Spanish plate fleet shipwrecks off the coast of Fort Pierce, Florida. In July of 1715, 10 Spanish ships filled with valuable goods from the New World were returning to Spain when a hurricane battered the fleet. Historians estimate between 700 to 1,000 lives were lost in the tragedy. Beginning in the 1960s, treasure hunters began discovering and raising artifacts from the 1715 fleet shipwrecks. Cannons and anchors raised during this effort were turned over to the state of Florida. Without the many thousands of dollars needed to preserve these cannons and anchor for museum display, Florida State archaeologists partnered with Indiana University to create an underwater museum exhibit. Since treasure hunters have removed nearly all of the cannons from Florida Key shipwrecks, this is one of the few places snorkelers can enjoy seeing numerous cannons, displayed as if on a shipwreck. Cannon Beach isn't the only place in the park to find the cannons of Florida's past. Let's check out another cannon you can discover inside the park. This cannon comes from a ship called the San Jose that sank during the hurricane of 1733. Wrecks from this particular flotilla of Spanish ships are actually scattered throughout the Northern Keys, where strong winds and waves helped to push them onto the reef line. The crew of the San Jose survived and assisted Spanish salvage teams with recovering their valuable gold and silver cargo. Today, the rest of this wreck lies just off Plantation Key, covered by sand. There's one more cannon to be found inside the park, but its story is a little different from the rest. This small signal cannon is from the 1800s, and that's about all we know about it. You see, this cannon was illegally removed from its resting place by people wanting to take it home. Park rangers found it at the boat dock and preserved it, but without the evidence from the wreckage around it, Archaeologists are unable to discover its true history. Archaeologists use diagnostic artifacts like this cannon to determine age and characteristics of shipwrecks. Removing just one piece of that puzzle can mean that the identity of a ship is lost forever. Help us protect and preserve the stories of Florida's past by leaving artifacts where you find them and by reporting them to park authorities. For more information about the maritime heritage resources of the Florida Keys, please visit the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary's website at www.floridakeys.noaa.gov.